What up, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Money Making Jess. I'm back at it again with another daily debriefing for Friday, October 30th, 2020, Halloween Eve. So I started early today, made, I think, three trades and observed one trade I made last night during a late night trade session. And this is the results. So the one I made last night, basically I lost on that, which was lost 9.5 pips. And the reason for that was because I didn't follow my golden rule number two, which is check all chart time frames. Make sure you're in the right time frame, people. This is very critical to your analysis. And when you get in and get out of trade, so... Uh, so basically, my main theme, uh, my main theme for today's discussion is my forex golden rules, which are three. Well, the number one rule I always have is never trade while prices in the cloud. Rule number two: always check your chart time frames. And number three: always trade with Banker when prices between support and resistance. I found out if I don't follow these three core basic rules, I usually end up on the losing end of a trade. So these aren't concrete, but these are basically my golden rules. You can add or edit as you like. This is what I use to kind of check balance to make sure that the trade should be successful. But in the end, it just don't know until it, it pans out. But I notice when I follow these three golden rules, when I'm doing my trading strategy and plan, I usually come out on the winning side. All right. So basically, I'm still doing the school of Pipsology. I'm in the fundamental analysis module still. This weekend, I will be out of this module, and hopefully, I'm really going to try to be out of high school this by Sunday. Hopefully, I'll be out of high school. I'm really, I'm really about to hit the... Hit the virtual books and, and, and get through this. Um, I went long on both the Euro and Canadian dollar and Japanese, United States dollar and Japanese yen. I closed those with a gang of 6.6 .6 pips. And like I said, yeah, yesterday, last night, I went and I hit a stop loss close at negative 9.5 pips due to my golden rule number two. That was the problem. Um, I have updated my current forex.com demo stats to mmj-forex.com. And later today and the rest of the weekend, I will be driving for a lift every day. It should be busy. Previous Halloweens have been really big. Uh, I know it's COVID-19, but here in Arizona, a lot of things are open. And a lot of people are saying it's going to be a lot of Halloween parties. So there will be a lot of house parties I'll be going to and a lot of dropping off to local bars. I don't know if the major clubs will be open, but I know just by hearing people talk, a lot of the local bars and stuff like that, neighborhood bars, community bars will be open and they're hosting Halloween parties. Uh, and People are hosting at their house as well. Just want everybody to be safe, mask up, still have the same precautions. I mean, Halloween ain't going to stop COVID. So if I was you, I wouldn't go out nowhere. But, you know, just be safe, have fun. And remember, your limitation is only your imagination. Always stay positive. Always look for new opportunities. And something will eventually pan out for you. So if you're looking for something basic to get into currency trading, I do highly recommend Currency Trading for Dummies, 3rd Edition. There is a link in the show notes to buy that. And if you buy it, I will get a small percentage of that through Amazon Affiliate Program. So... I would appreciate it. And also, too, I would advise everyone, any of you have a YouTube channel, a podcast, or just anything, you should really sign up for Amazon Affiliate Program because what happens when they use your link, regardless if they buy anything, the link stays active, I think, for like 24 or 48 hours or something like that. So if they buy anything between that time when the last person's uh, affiliate link they use, if they use the affiliate link, you'll get a percentage of the sale, so it doesn't matter. So it's always good to have an Amazon affiliate account on hand. That's another side hustle where you can make extra money. Especially if you have a lot of followers, 
definitely if you use a lot of good products and stuff like that, start recommending products and put it in side of your uh, your your social media postings with your affiliate links. Don't overdo it. Don't put like a thousand affiliate links in there. Stuff like that. There's a lot of good YouTubes on affiliate marketing. That's another way you can generate money on the side as a side hustle. Um, don't forget <clears throat> the 100 plus bonus trivia. Currently right now, it's probably going to get extended to December 1st because I haven't had that many. Um, I haven't hit my 50, my 50 um, limit yet of people signing up due to the... Um, the contest, so I'm moving it out at, to December first. So it looks like we know we we'll we'll, we'll know. Um, other than that, I think that's really about it. So everyone, be safe. Enjoy yourself. And just be safe out there, people. Stay positive. Be blessed, and have a great weekend, people. See you guys Sunday. This is money. Jip. Yeah.